One of the things that makes Notion truly amazing is its databases. With Notion databases, you're able to group similar ideas together in order to keep track of them, manage them, and also keep them organized. By the end of this video, you're gonna learn about 10 different ways that Notion databases will really change your life. Hello beautiful people, my name is Ademu Shoyo and I teach you how to get more time, life, and energy out of each day through meaningful and intentional productivity strategies. In today's video, we're going to cover all things relating to Notion databases and how you can use them to dramatically and drastically change your life and your productivity. When you're just getting started with Notion, you may have one page that really is your dumping ground for all of the other pages and notes that you may have. But with Notion databases, you're able to better customize your current dashboard because you're able to create different views and you know better keep track of some of the different things that really take your Notion workspace to a whole new level. With Notion databases, you're able to create different views that allow you to sort of see and automate some of your views in a given day or at a given time period, which really take your Notion dashboard to the next level and also make it more customized to your needs and your desires. Now, if you find yourself writing the same thing over and over again, having database templates is really gonna be a game changer for you. When you use database templates, you're able to take notes quicker and more efficiently. And you're also able to keep track of things using properties and just auto-populate certain things that you may find yourself repeating or sort of copying and pasting all the time. And with Notion databases, you're able to kind of link a lot of your similar thoughts and ideas in the same place and add different properties that can help you better organize and visually see them. So for example, if you have a database of all of your content ideas, so the similarity is it's all relating to content, and then adding different properties and different templates that help you just kind of better manage and keep track of your content ideas and the process throughout them is really going to be a game changer so you're not rewriting the same thing over and over again because it's already been pre-populated for you. That leads me to my next point, which is that Notion databases can really help you better manage your projects. Within a projects database, you can create tasks and you can assign them to people, which offers way better collaboration. You can use the status property so you can keep track of how that project is progressing. And then you can also add deadlines so that you're keeping everyone on the same pace and you're allowing things to move in a more efficient and quicker manner. Another really great thing about Notion databases is that you can actually link a bunch of different databases together so you're able to easily cross-reference different types of information. For example, you can have like a projects database and a tasks database and you can relate the tasks to a particular project and you're able to kind of reference and use some of the other advanced properties that can help you better and seamlessly and visually see how things are performing or just getting the information that you readily need. Linked databases can also help you create a web of information. So as you're looking into something, you're able to sort of be able to cross-reference how it connects to other things and really just kind of make your workflow a little bit more seamless as you're working within Notion. Another reason why Notion databases are so awesome is that they can really help you better manage your time. Within a Notion database, you can use different properties and views to better keep track and prioritize your tasks and manage your time a little bit better. And you're also able to more visually see how things are progressing and just even keep track and hold yourself accountable towards what got done today versus yesterday and really start to log how you are doing and how you are working in order to kind of help you better manage your workflow. I know for me personally, one of the things I noticed with keeping track of my tasks was that it was very hard for me to get things done on Wednesday. And so as a result, when I'm like planning my week, I don't schedule tasks for me to get done on Wednesday. It doesn't always work, 
But when it does work, I feel like I know that I'm allowing myself to rest when I need to, but I'm also better effective at managing what tasks need to get done throughout the week. I am curious about you though. How do you manage your tasks throughout the weeks? What sort of ways do you try to prioritize what needs to get done? Let me know in the comments down below. Another reason why I love Notion databases is that it really does simplify how you work. One of the more recent features that Notion released is you're able to create repeating tasks using the database templates so that you can automatically have things populate either daily, weekly, or monthly that really make things a little bit more integrated and seamless as you're working throughout each day. This can help you save time on any reflections or reoccurring projects or tasks that you may have every day or every week or even every month, really, that you're able to sort of not even have to think about because you already know it's being populated for you. Notion also allows you the ability to add different integrations and automations into your workspace. So you're able to bring different data and information from your third-party apps like Airtable or Asana or ClickUp into Notion. So you have one centralized place of working on everything. I mentioned a little bit about Notion database views, but really utilizing Notion database views can really take your organization to a whole different level. Notion offers different views like the board view, the table view, the list view, and the calendar view. And you can add different properties that allow you to filter and sort things a little bit easier and more seamlessly so you're able to visually see what you need to see and also hide what you don't need to see. I know for me, I have an archive property. So when I'm done with the task, I no longer see it within my immediate view, which allows me to really only focus on the tasks that I really need to get done at that given time. Notion views can also help you create a little bit more of a mobile friendly view, especially the list view, which allows you to quickly access things and type things up really on the go. And with you have an iPhone, you're able to use the Siri shortcuts that can allow you to quickly add something into a database without you having to stress or use too many clicks. My eighth reason why Notion databases can really help you take your productivity to the next level is that it allows for a lot better of an ease to collaborate with other people. There are a couple different properties within Notion databases, like the person property, the edited by property, and created by property that really allow you to keep track of who's working on what at a given time, who last edited something or changed something within a particular page. And you can also assign and add comments and just really offer a more collaborative experience that really keeps you and your team on track and makes things a little bit more transparent for everyone involved. Another really great reason why I love Notion so much and I love the database tool is because Notion databases have really transformed the way I have been able to run my business and it also can really help you as well. You can use Notion databases to help you manage and track different areas of your business, whether it be your content with creating a content calendar database, or your clients with like a client portal database, or even your finances by keeping track of different expenses and spending. With Notion databases for different parts or aspects of your business, you have a great way of creating things more visually, and also you can build better knowledge surrounding how different parts of your business works, which is really helpful for your team members that may be coming in or going out, which can also often offer, offer a really great collaborative opportunity and also provide more transparency for people in your business. And the last reason why Notion databases can really change your life is that it can really help you better manage your personal life. You can create a Notion database that can help you keep track of your different habits, which will help you keep yourself more accountable. You can also create a personal to-do list or a shopping list that can better manage 
your inventory within your house so that you're not overspending or you know keeping track of the budgeting that you have and you can also just have notion databases for fun with like book reading or different foods or restaurants that you like but overall there is no limit or no end to the things that you can keep track of or store within Notion, and it can make you just a more well-rounded individual who is very stress-free because you have a place where everything is located and that you can easily retrieve the information. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want more videos like this on how Notion can radically change your personal or business and just make you an overround productive person, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified when another video drops. Also, if you wanna get started with Notion, be sure to check out some of my free and paid templates that'll help you really get started on the right path. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.